Today we'll be considering um, um, cyclic quadrilateral in circle theorem. Now the theorem states that the opposite, the sum of the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. How do you identify a cyclic quadrilateral? It's when you have a quadrilateral which is inscribed in a circle. If you look at this, this is an inscription of a quadrilateral in a circle, so you can call this um, a cyclic quadrilateral. So what the theorem states that this angle and this angle, um, they add up to 180 degrees, and this angle, which is B, plus this angle, B, the sum of these two is equal to 180 degrees. Now, let's start with this question now. Now, if we look at this question, the question says, work out the sizes of angle um, D, E, B, and C, E, E. Now, the first thing we want to look at, if you look at this angle, uh, this um, shape, this is a cyclic quadrilateral, and now you're giving this angle. So it's easier to get this angle. Why? Because the theorem states that the sum of opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary. In other words, it adds up to 180 degrees. So I can uh, therefore say that um, angle um, DEB, I can say angle DEB, DEB plus angle um, DCB, DCB equals to 180 degrees. Now I want to find DEB, DEB plus DCB, DCB, this angle which is 72 degrees equal 180 degrees. So um, angle DEB will be 180 degrees minus 72 degrees, which will give me 108 degrees. Now what is the geometric reason for this is um, cyclic quadrilateral, I can say sum of opposite angle of the cyclic quadrilateral out of two, 180 degrees. So to get the other one, um, we want to get this angle, um, which is um, C, D, E. We need to know what this angle is. And if you look at this, this is on a straight line, right? We have a straight line, um, A, B, um, the straight line, A, B, E. Now, you, if you remember the theorem that sum of angle on the straight line, out of 180 degrees, so I'm going to consider this um, angle A, B, C, angle A, B, C, plus angle E, B, C, plus angle E, B, C, will give me 180 degrees. Now the reason for this is different from, is different from the first problem I saw. For this one, it is sum of angle on a straight line. So now A, B, C, ABC is 125, so I'm going to write 125 degrees plus triangle EBC equals 180 degrees. So, um, therefore, triangle angle EBC will be 180 degrees minus, when you take this to the other side, uh, 125 degrees. So, um, triangle EBC will give me 55 degrees. Now, we are not done yet. Now, so that shows that this angle is 55 degrees. But we need to get this angle in order to get this. Now, in order to get this, it's pretty much easier uh, because the sum of angle, um, sum of opposite angle of the cyclic quadrilateral uh, will give us 180 degrees. So to get this angle, which is angle, um, which is angle C, D, E, so I can do angle C, D, E, will be equal to 180 degrees minus 55 degrees. So that will give me uh, 125 degrees. So that's pretty simple. Work out the value of angle X, Y, and Z, given that X plus Y plus Z equals to 90 degrees. Now, we were not given any angle here. We're just given X, Y, and Z. So how do we find the value of X, Y, and Z? Now, if I look at the shape, this is a cyclic quadrilateral because I have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. Now, the, what, what I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at X and X plus Z. 
So I'm going to write x plus z equals 180 degrees because I need that information to be able to find the value of x, y, and z. Now, I know that x plus z is 180 degrees sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral added to 180 degrees. So I can plug in 180 degrees for x and z. So uh, I'm going to write x plus z plus y equals, one, um, equals 290 degrees. I'm going to rewrite the equation. So I'm going to plug in 180 degrees for x plus z. So 180 degrees plus y equals 290 degrees. Now to get the value of y, I'm going to take this to the other side. So 290 degrees minus 180 degrees will give me uh, y as um, 110 degrees. So that is the value of y, 110 degrees. Now, um, I already know that angle y is at the center, and then I have x at the circumference. Now, I would want you to watch my previous video on um, angle at the center, angle which an axe of subten at the center is twice that of its circumference. Now, on, on that note, now the angle at the center is y equal the angle at the circumference is x. So the theorem states that the angle at the center is twice that of its circumference. So I'm going to write 2x. Now I'm going to plug in 1110 for the angle at the center, which is 110 degrees equals 2x, so I'll divide both sides by 2, so my x will be 55 degrees. So I'm going to write x equals 55 degrees. Now, the geometric reason for this answer is that the angle which an axe of 10 at the center is twice that of its second friends. All right, now to get the third angle, we've gotten x and, um, and y. We want to get z. We can get z by plugging the value of x into this. That's one way to do it. So I can do x plus um, z equals 180 degrees. So x plus um, x is 55. So 55 degrees plus z equals 180 degrees. So z will be 180 degrees minus 55 degrees. So z will give me um, 125 degrees. So another way to do that, you can plug in, uh, you can plug in the, you can plug it in into this original equation x is 55 plus um, y is 110 plus z equals 290 degrees if you add this to you get 165 degrees plus z equals 290 degrees so therefore um, z will now be 290 minus 165 so z will give me 125 degrees so that's pretty simple Thanks for watching my video. You can always subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math. Share my link for more videos. God bless you and have a great day. Bye.